Hey guys, it's Sex Talk Saturday on One Dose Daily. It's Sex Talk Saturday. That's why I don't make the theme song. Hey guys, um, it is Saturday and I'm so glad it's Saturday. It is snowing like crazy and I'm like, blah, blah, blah. Like I really want to leave the house, but like, I'm not leaving in this shit, you know? But yeah, so I decided today I'm going to talk about the wide range of birth control methods. I'm not going to talk very specifically about them, but I'm just going to give you a overview of birth control. I'm going to mainly be focusing on hormonal birth control. What is hormonal method of birth control? The hormonal method of birth control stops a woman from releasing an egg. If there's no egg, then there can be no baby. In later episodes, I'll be talking about specific birth control methods in more depth. The order we're going to go in is how long each birth control method lasts for. We're going to start with the birth control pill. The birth control pill is taken daily. It's taken every 24 hours, so it's taken at the same time every day because it provides 24 hours of hormones. How effective is the birth control pill? One out of 100 women will get pregnant each year if they always take the pill as directed. The pill comes in a packaging shown here. You take three weeks of hormonal pills, and then the fourth week, a woman would take sugar pills if she wanted, just to keep up on her daily routine of taking a pill every day. Next, we're going to talk about the patch. Now, the patch is basically, it looks like a little square band-aid, and it is applied to more fatty skin. So on the arm, or the hip, or the lower back, or the buttocks, all of those places, so it's a lot easier for the hormones to be absorbed into the blood system. Now the patch is the same amount of effectiveness as the birth control pill, but it's only used once a week. A woman would put a patch on for a week and then take it off and apply another patch somewhere else on her body the next week and she would do that for three weeks, and then the fourth week, she wouldn't wear a patch. Next, we're going to talk about the Nuva Ring. Now, the Nuva Ring has become way more popular lately. It's our little ring shown here, and the ring is inserted vaginally, and then sitting there for three weeks, and then it's taken out the fourth week. A lot of women say they don't even feel it. It can be taken out for up to three hours at a time for sexual intercourse but it does not have to be taken out. One disadvantage about the Nuva Ring is a woman would have to be very comfortable with her body and know her parts down there. And the Nuva Ring is also just as effective as the patch or the pill. Now, the birth control shot, or Depo-Provera. Now, a lot of people already, they're like, oh my god, I can't do this. A lot, of, a lot of people don't like shots, but this is, if somebody would be comfortable for shots, it lasts three months. So, Depo-Provera, you would go to a personal doctor or a healthcare center, they would give someone a shot, and then the shot would last for three months, and three months later you would just go and get another shot. One big advantage about this is this is for women on the go, this is for women who can't remember something every day, every week, every month. It's, it's good for women who just can't remember that. As we go up in length of time, the price does go up. But if you do all the statistics and stuff, it may actually be cheaper to get something that's more expensive because in the long run, you'd have to pay more for maybe a pill. Next is Implanon. And it is also inserted through a shot from a healthcare provider. The upfront cost can be $400 to $800, but it lasts three years. One good thing about Implanon is that once it's put into a woman's body, it can be taken out at any time. Let's say that the woman gets Implanon and then two years later she says, well, I want to have a baby now. Then she can go back to her healthcare provider and get it taken out. Implanon's just a thin, flexible plastic implant and is inserted under the skin of the upper arm. The last one that I'm going to be talking about is called an IUD, or a lot of people are calling it an IUC now, actually. IUD stands for intrauterine device. So it's just a small T-shaped device that's inserted into the uterus. It's safe, effective, and long-lasting. It must be inserted by a healthcare provider. It costs $175 to $500 up front, but it lasts up to 12 years. That's 12 years of birth control. IUD has the largest upfront cost, but is the most cost effective. There are two brands available in the United States. They're called Paragard and the Morena. 
IUDs are very safe and very effective. One reminder that I'd like to tell everybody about all these birth control methods that I just talked about is that none of these prevent against the transmission of STDs or HIV. Take extra precautions, be safe, protect yourself, and use a barrier method like I talked about last week, a condom or diaphragm or female condom. Any of those things would work helping prevent the transmission of STDs or HIV. I'm glad you guys tuned in this week. Next week's show is gonna be how to talk about sex with your parents. And my mom's gonna be on the show with me and I'm really excited. We're just gonna talk about sex. So tune in this whole week. I'm really excited about the channel, you guys. You guys are doing such a great job at as viewers and ODDers, you guys are doing such a good job. And I will see you guys next week. Um, if you have any questions about birth control methods, you can go to PlannedParenthood.org, which is in the sidebar, or you can maybe message me. Thank you so much for tuning in. That's why I don't make theme songs. Stay safe, stay beautiful. Bye, guys.